I've had a lot of eyes opened when they when people see the pump that I designed here. Uh, this pump is <clears throat> a bilge pump that I've put together. Uh, could be used, you know, portable in a boat. Um, this specific application uh, is for a uh, float plane, for pumping out the floats on a float plane when you have the plugs on it right here. Now this is really simple, um, how I did this. What the gray uh, body of this pump is actually one of the standard um, marine slash aviation float pumps used in boats and planes. Um, just a manual pump that had a lever on top of, like that you would stroke it out to pump it. And it. They work well, but then eventually the seals inside go and they don't work. This one was finished. So I basically cut the pump right where you can see the uh, Gorilla Tape, took the top out, removed the inside uh, plunger, and then replumbed it with my pump here. So this is a, a Wayne PC1 12 volt transfer pump. There's all kinds of different pumps out there. You need one that's self-priming. This one is perfect. Uh, so this pump, all I did was, you can see using stainless steel uh, hose clamps, clamped it to the pump. The bottom, uh, the attachments on the pump are just uh, garden hose fittings, and it comes with one pump, with one hose rather. So I've attached that, made a hole on the side to run the hose in. And the bottom is uh, key because what I did was I just fed the hose out the bottom, but then you have to seal the hose in place. Uh, that's silicone caulking you can see in there. Otherwise, it would be drawing air if there wasn't a perfect seal around the edge here. So that has to be a perfect seal for it to be able to draw uh, water up from inside a float compartment. The top uh, is just another hose. This was picked up at uh, hardware store and this is just again a uh, something like a, a dishwasher hose etc and I just ran it up and through and out to the end and I put a coupling on it just so it doesn't have loose pieces because it was a stainless steel braid over that one and then very simply ran 12 volt wiring up mounted a push button on off switch spring loaded momentary contact switch that you just push like so and it activates the pump. So for a battery, I'm using an anti-gravity microstart. I've got, I've had the anti-gravity batteries for a long time. I really like them. They've, they've lasted a long time and they work well. So this is a jump starter. You can boost your car, etc., with this pack. I've used it for many things. They have the connector on top, uh, which is meant to accept uh, the plug-in for the booster connector. However, anti-gravity sells this adapter and it's useful because you can get more current than you can just out of plugging on the side of the battery. So uh, it comes like this, it's fused in here and uh, you have a um, uh, connectors on the end which I attached, uh, soldered and then I uh, shrink, shrink wrapped them. So anyway, the pump is very uh, self-contained. You can put it anywhere and it works fantastic, which I'll show you. I'm going to plug it in and what I usually do is I plug the battery to the cable and I put the battery in my back pocket and just have my hands free to hold the pump. So we'll give it a try here. So what I want to show you and why it's important to have this type of pump. You can see that the pump line for the flow requires suction to bring it up from the bottom. So there's not a lot of water in there. I added that water just so we can do a test to show you how good it works on the plane. So uh, the pump has to be self-priming to be able to pull it up through the air column. So we'll take that out and we'll put the pump in. Very simple, just drop it into the hole that's already there. Push the button on top and away we go. So super easy to use. And again, you can drop this into water anywhere and it'll pump very, very well and very fast. Um, there's not many uh, uh, pumps out there that I've seen that will self-prime like this one will. So again, you can uh, see the setup I have here now. And pushing the button on top activates the pump, which is quite noisy, noisy when it's out of the water. So again, this can be used for pumping anything out. Again, just drop the end in the water and 
away you go. Uh, I had designed a pump I use in the winter time for pumping water out of the lake, which is a bilge pump on the bottom. And that works fantastic for that purpose. However, a bilge pump will not draw water up an empty water column like a pipe, which is needed in this case. So anyway, uh, very, very handy, very easy to make. Uh, most of you guys, if you've got a bilge pump for either your boat or aircraft floats, you'll have some of these laying around that don't work anymore. I did, and uh, it's uh, very simple to make. So if you found this useful, uh, I hope that you'll maybe uh, like the video and subscribe, help somebody else find this. Thanks.